All right, I'm gonna go over how to um, adjust your Flickr widget if you wanted to pull in Flickr images, as well as on your contact page, I'm gonna go over the map and the form. So let's start on the blog.html file and look in the sidebar. So <clears throat> if we open up our HTML files, pop open the blog.html file, we can uh, look into the sidebar. So we're gonna look for the sidebar div, and once we hit that, then you can see the different widgets we have in there. And ta-da, we found the Flickr widget. So there's all this JavaScript and it might seem a little confusing. Don't worry, uh, it's all very simple. The one thing you're gonna look for is this uh, API long scary URL. And you'll just, the part we're focused on is this ID equals, and it's from the equals to the and. And so in there, we're gonna be replacing that. Now, how do you get this ID is located in the theme documentation? There's this visit ID getter and retrieve your ID. So for instance, I'm going to switch this one to my personal one. And so you just find your ID and then you copy your ID. And then you're going to paste your ID in in place of the current one. So it should be the same number of characters and everything. And it's that ID equals. And now when we refresh, instead of the Envato Flickr, you'll get your own Flickr like ours. And that's how to do your own Flickr. So it's pretty easy. Now let's move on to the contact page. Now let's start off with this map. So if we open up our contact.html page, and we scroll in, we have a two column layout. And this first area is a bunch of JavaScript. And this is what generates your map. So you can just copy and paste this if you want to reuse this map on another page. And all this is saying is there's a couple calls to Google Maps, which is the API we're pulling from. And then there's this JavaScript right here that's saying add this map to this map contact div. Now, if you didn't understand that, don't worry. You just need to know that these scripts are necessary. And to adjust the address is really easy. It's under um, this area right here. So if you wanted to type in your address, all you have to do is type it in right there. So you can do your address like you're typing into Google. You can use just the city like we did or your entire address. And then if you want to adjust the zoom on the map, you can turn it up or turn it down. So for instance, if I do five, you'll notice it's very zoomed out. And so you can adjust that as necessary. Um, it should be all very easy. And this icon is actually the icon pin. So if you ever wanted to update that, make it a house or something else, you can adjust that pin here via the pin.png image. Um, and the last thing I wanted to go over was this uh, form. And this form, this form is actually created via um, this thing called Wufu. And the reason for it is because it's bulletproof. It will work on your site. You don't have to worry about any PHP or anything like that. All you need to do is go to wufu.com, sign up for a free account. Once you've signed up, you will log into your uh, Wufu account and you can click create a new form. And uh, once you create a new form, it will look something like this. And you can do things like to add your name, you just add a single line of text. You click on it, you add it, you look, say, do you want it required or not? Yes or no, you can remove it. Once you're all done with your form, you can save it. And then you can say, I'm finished, take me back to the form manager. And all you need to do to add in your form on your page is go under code. And then look under this embed form code. And then copy the JavaScript version. So um, I'll copy that in. And then just paste it in place of the current bunch of code right there. So I can paste it in right here under the script. And then you can refresh your page and you will see your cool form. One thing to note, if you don't want that header to show up, there's actually an option for it and it's called header show. And you can just type in instead of show hide and it will hide that header and that's how that's the only customization we did to ours um, to get it like the live preview.